If you don't have any plans this Thursday, you do now. The por uh, Taste of Portland is taking place. Please welcome Chloe Fairchild, and we also have Bree uh, Tieperman over here, both with the Chamber um, over there in Portland. Guys, you got a great thing going on. You've been doing this a while, but it's going to be better this yes, year. Yes, definitely. What's going to make it better this year? So we are the Portland Chamber of Commerce, and we are a nonprofit 501c6. So we help businesses grow. We bring in businesses, and members help us prosper and get out to people. So one of the ways we help members grow is by hosting networking events throughout the year. And one of our big events, an annual event, is the Taste of Portland this Thursday. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be a luau theme. Yes, right? yes, it's yes. a luau theme, and you know we're going to have the Pacific Islanders from Corpus performing as live entertainment. Kendra Scott will be there. She'll have uh, luau-inspired jewelry, so it's going to be a really awesome event. It's one of those kind of come dressed uh, in the luau. I mean, yes, uh, yes. So guys going to be in dress best. skirts and the coconut, oh, kind of maybe. Maybe. coconut bras, maybe. Maybe. everything. It, anything we have possible surprises. With these <laughs> um, right now, Portland's kind of going through that restructuring phase, if you will, especially after the storm, Hurricane Harvey. Yes. How did that affect y'all? Y'all live there. Uh, what is the feel? What's the sense of the community right now? We're, we're coming together. We're growing. We're, there's tons of, you know, big corporations coming into Portland, and we're hoping to really prosper off of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So It's all a community effort. I mean, it's teamwork to come back together after a storm like that. So The money that's raised from this event, how is it going to help you all specifically? It helps. So we are a nonprofit, and the money that comes in is it's one of the ways that helps us keep going in business and then keep bringing bigger and better events to the Portland area for our members. Is there anything in uh, particular that you all want? to put it toward this year or is it I mean I know it's the kind of the general fund if you will. Yes it is but then we'll have bigger events throughout the year and it just helps to fund that okay. and some of our awesome food vendors we have coming Fajitaville, um, Bibby's Cakes in Ingleside she makes the cutest little cupcakes and everything, Mike Cotton's Barbecue. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be awesome. We'll have a mystery box worth a thousand dollars in value with tickets for sale, ten dollars raffle tickets that oh, wow. evening. So it'll be awesome. Uh, we're gonna put some of the information on the screen right there. There it is this Thursday at 5.30 over at the North Shore Country Club. It's always a beautiful setting over there. Uh, Luel Fun 5.30. Yes, yeah, I'm going down. It's going to be great. <laughs> Information's on the screen. We're going to have it on our website, too, ktriplitv.com. Ladies, thank you for coming in. Chloe and Bree, uh, wish you a lot of success with your event yes, and the continued you. rebirth of oh, Luel. One more thing. Yeah. We still have table sponsorships available. Okay. So if you, your business or anybody is interested, they start at 225. They come with all the fun marketing parts of it, and it's a great way to network your event. Perfect. There you have it. Ladies, thank <laughs> you. Appreciate it. Thank